What's up guys, Brian back to do a Walking Dead video about the sixth season Blu-ray. It came out today, August 23rd. If you're thinking about picking up or not, season six was a great season. Blu-ray's got some great commentary things about it, so let's check it out. Entertainment Weekly, we got a link in the description. They talk about these commentary things, so if you want to know more or read a couple of it more, we summarized them a little bit, but there's the link as well. We'll put it in the link I'll put the link in the description below so if you want to read more. But basically on the commentary for No Way Out, Kimmel relays a big difference between himself and comic creator Robert Kirkman. We had a long talk about whether people are fundamentally good. And Robert and I still had the disagreement, which is that I do believe that people are fundamentally good. He does not. Then Michael Cutlass chimes in by op opinioning that I would say that people do not fundamentally want to hurt other people, but that doesn't mean they're good. So that's a little difference between Gimbal, Kirkman, and even Cutlass and jumps in there too. On the commentary track for the first time again, Greg Nicotero talks about Daryl Dixon was caught with his pants down. Norman, that was the day when he ran up naked. The executive producer tells Reedus on the commentary while watching a scene. Nick Cotero then explains how an alarm clock snafu led to the star changing clothes on the run. Norman's alarm clock didn't go off, and we put a stunt double in his wardrobe, and Norman refused to go to set, stripped his clothes off on his way to the set, and got in the shot before we were ready. And the first time again commentary, the producers reveal how the balloons set up the checkpoints of the Alexandria's quarry explosion. They wanted to set up Roy G. Bibb, the colors of the rainbow, although they only got to the showing the green one, poor neglected indigo shunned again. So little things like that are pretty awesome of the, of the box set. You know, the commentary tracks look like pretty cool. You know, this isn't all of them. This is the ones they kind of highlighted. There's some more on the, uh, the link there, too. But as we already uncovered and explained in greater detail, showrunner Scott Angel reveals that here's not here commentary. The original plan was for Morgan to be reunited with Rick and Co. in the train car A at Terminus at the end of season four, rather than the much later at Alexandria when Morgan was seen saving Daryl and Aaron. So little things like that, man. Here's not here. You know, the, the commentary, that's the Morgan episode. But Kimball also says how a lot of the Eastman character who reformed Morgan was based on a chance meeting Gimble had with forensic psychologist Dr. Eric Fox on an airplane to Comic-Con in 2014. Gimble then appeared at Comic-Con in 2015. So it's kind of crazy to see these little inside information. You know, the thing with Norman Reedus being naked, he talked about that on the cruise this past January. So we already knew that. There was originally footage in the Not Tomorrow Yet episode in which you see Rosita cleaning and manicuring the fake Gregory zombie head, which Nick Otero told me, one of which is a head molded of him and another of Johnny Depp. So that's the one where the three zombie heads with Gregory and Rick punches the nose. It's like the nose is wrong. The zombie head is Greg Nicotero and Rosita's manicuring. And the one next to him by the bucket is actually Johnny Depp's head. Originally in the same boat, Rick was the one who informed Paula, the savior, Alicia Witt, that Maggie was pregnant, but but Kang and Gimble like to take where the saviors act surprised when Carol mentions it, so they kept, they cut the earlier Rick mention of the news. So little things like that. You get to see little insider information. I think it's pretty cool, and it's worth buying the commentary for. Also, you get Negan's cursing on the Blu-ray as well. And here we go. Jeffrey DeMorgan is really effing good at cursing. This is quite obvious from the alternate curse-heavy take of the season's final scene which is included on the Blu-ray set. It truly needs to be seen and heard to be believed. So do you like Negan cursing? Do you not like him cursing? Whatever. Do you give a shit? Do you care about the beard? Do you not? Do you think they're going to do justice to Negan or not? I don't know. Personally, I would like Negan to be bigger, no beard, and curse a little bit more. So there you go. That's my take. Let's your, post your comments below, guys. Enough sitting around and doing nothing. I'm going to watch the DVDs. Thanks, Shane. Kind of miss Shane a little bit. What do you think there, guys? So you're going to pick up the box set. What do you think of the season six? Blu-ray digital copy there too. Is it worth your money? Worth what you got? So like, share, subscribe, post your comments below guys, and you guys are awesome.